Hello, everyone, and welcome to Budget Life with Paula. We are here today to go over my um, weekly check-in for my um, Capital One spending. A couple of things I wanted to make you all aware of. I know I mentioned in my previous video that I had not heard from um, the winner of my 600 subscriber giveaway, Carol McKenzie. She did reach out to me. So Carol, if you're watching, hello, and I hope you are feeling better. Um, your calculator is on its way to you. So thank you so much for reaching out to me and getting in touch with me. Um, so we're going to go jump right into it. It is super late, but I wanted to stay consistent. Y'all know my one of my words for, I've got two words for the year, and that is discipline and consistency. And I need to be consistent to this um, weekly check-in. So we are looking at um, the 8th through the 14th. This is a spending so far um, on my Capital One credit card. So I want to make sure that you all see this. I thought it would be good if I just print it all out. Um, and we can kind of quickly go over it. So on the 9th, there was a charge to Walmart, um, 114.21. Food Lion, that's my local grocery store, on the 11th, total was 34.21. On the 11th, my own star payment came out of $15. Uh, on the 12th, I went back to Food Lion, um, and purchase fifty seven seventy six, and because of excuse me, because of the increase in prices for groceries, I'm finding that I'm having to use my Capital One card, even though I did budget for cash for um food line. I mean for groceries and food household items. It just is what it is and we're just in that situation and we are cooking more. I am shopping weekly sales prices um and using coupons and rewards because my local grocery store also has rewards. So I use that. Um and it just it is what it is. We are um you can as you can see we are not doing a lot of drive through um, throughout these days and pretty much we we're working on cutting it back so um and yes i did go one day on the 11th to food line and i went back the next day to food line literally this um store is in walking distance i just drive because i know i'm getting multiple bags um on the 12th um i got gas 32 dollars and 40 cents um, Sprint purchase of $45.05. Um, That's pertaining to my two daughters' phones. Both of their phones um, had issues again. The other one had issues again. So I had to take care of that. Um, gas went back on the 14th and filled up. I had some traveling to do, um, some places I needed to go. So I have a large SUV. So I need to get back. Um, and use my credit card because I had already used gas on my gas bank card that I actually transfer. So this is pretty much, pretty much you see the major amounts that's here is for purchases or usage that I, things that I had to do that wasn't budgeted for, the money was already spent in those categories like gas and food and pretty much that just is the way of life right now, my situation. And so I'm just totaling everything up and then I'm going to pay the credit card off. So it life just happens like that um, where things do pop up. And I don't want to go into my emergency fund um, to use that. So McDonald's on the 14th, $17.31. So when I totaled everything up, all of these um, expenses total up to be $346.25. Um, that's pretty high for a week, but we needed food. I needed to get gas. The The actual bills and other categories wasn't bad at all. Um, I broke the categories down. So my groceries and household total 206.18. It was over budget. 
Not much I can really do about it other than cut back some more. We didn't do like seafood. We can't really cook seafood, number one, because my oldest daughter is allergic to seafood. So we don't really cook um, seafood here in the house if she's home. But we did have seafood this past weekend. Um, and that was Saturday the 14th. Let's see. Thinking about that. The Saturday the 14th. I'm wondering if I had gotten grocery. I have gotten went on the 12th to get that. We did get some seafood, but it was on sale. Um, we had fish, so that was on sale. And then I purchased some things for groceries as well. So, I mean, food, it is what it is. We ate. <laughs> we did not drive through or we did not go out to eat. Gas was 62 63 that also is in the category of it is what it is. Um, drive through was only $17.39 for the week. And I thought it was really good. Um, other is the OnStar and the Sprint extra payment um, there. So that was $60.05. Um, I'm not really complaining too much about, well, I don't really have an issue. I try not to complain at all, but I don't really have an issue with this amount of $346.25. Um, my Capital One, I'm wanting to be more intentional. I think I said this about in my a previous video, I think it was my budget with me. Um, I'm trying to be more um, intentional about what I spend on my Capital One card and really only using my Capital One card, y'all, for things that are the catch-all. Um, if we have to do a drive-through one night, then I'll use my Capital One. I don't know, someone's riding by very loudly, if you can hear that. Um, and groceries is an expense that the money was there. Um, I spent it all, um, on groceries, but I needed to go back out and get that. And I don't know if you all are experiencing the egg shortage, but we, it's, it's hit our, our area as well. So, um, trying to purchase eggs, they've raised prices on eggs, things like that. Just, we have to do, what we have to do. Gas went over as well. You guys, it is late and I am tired. My voice is fading away. Um, but like I said, I wanted to get up here and do this weekly um, spending. So that it is what it is. We'll take care of it. We'll, we'll pay for it, um, pay this balance off. Not a problem. I will post you all the payments it'll probably be in next month in in my um weekly spending updates for in february because that's basically when the bill is due i'm not going to pay it in january i'm just i mean honest with you i'm not going to pay this in january i have time to pay it i'll pay it in february so you know how i would normally um post the uh, payment pictures up so that to kind of keep you all in the loop of me paying off these um, balances and things. So I don't like to carry on balances. So before the balances do, it will be paid off. No worries. But this, I created this to help me see and track my spending and keep it down to a minimum as much as possible. Food and gas was something that I really could not help. I had to do some, oops, I, bump the camera big time. I had to do some um, traveling that week, the 8th through the 14th, that really pulled on my gas and then food. We are really n trying not to drive through. So we are um, going to the grocery store, going to Walmart. And as you can see, some days I have to go back to back. My food line is literally right around the corner from my house. I mean, literally right around the corner from my house. Um, so I do that. I don't have a problem with that. Some people, you know, want to go down to get everything all at once. And sometimes I do that. But as you can see this week, I went a couple of times, um, for groceries. It is what it is. It's my way of life. You guys, thank you so much for taking out the time to watch this video. I hope this gives you an idea and inspires you to keep a track of your spending as well. Um, thank you guys so much. I do want to say I am actually posting um, a new set of YouTubers that I have 
um, been watching and I would ask or invite you to join their channel. They um, have less than a thousand subscribers. Um, they may have a little bit more than I do, but they have not reached that 1,000 subscriber mark yet. So please go over and support them. If you can only watch one video, that helps. Um, but they will be listed in my descriptions as well. Uh, my sister, I believe, has opened her Etsy shop. So her Etsy shop link will be posted in my description. When she gives me some new items to showcase... I will definitely do that. You know, guys, I support her 100%. I let you guys see what she has created and what she's posted on her Etsy shop. I think that's all, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Do have a great day or night whenever you're watching this video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.